Hello, everyone. So uh, today I'm going to talk about building a machine learning model on Alteryx tool. You must have heard about this tool. This is very convenient and very easy to use, very informative. So we are going to build a classification model on Alteryx tool. And you must have heard about the breast cancer data set. It's widely available on internet. And I'm sure you would find this model interesting. So let's begin. So this data you can drag very easily on the, you can drag very easily inside the pane or otherwise you can drag this input data connection over here in the pane and then connect it to your input file. I already did it. And I'm going to show you how this data looks like. So this is your entire data set and you have multiple, you know, 31 columns here. And the last column is the Y, which is your, you know, uh, project Y or the label and the remaining columns are going to work as the features. So you have main radius, texture, perimeter, area, etc. So let's build, let's start building the model. So first of all, that data is been looked by into the select tool. So the advantage of having a select tool is that you can decide if you want to drop any feature. So you can just uncheck that box and then this feature will not move for further for the data for the model building exercise. But here we are taking all the, all the uh, columns and this is my, uh, you know, sampling tool where I'm going to divide the, I'm going to uh, distribute the entire data into two parts, estimation sample and validation sample, you know, train and test data. So I'm taking up around 80% for the uh, training and then 20% for testing. So I can reduce it to, let's say, you know, 70% for training and increase this to 30%, increase the random speed, random seed. That's fine. And this tool is uh, assisted modeling. And you would find this tool in the machine learning box over here, where you will find this assisted modeling. So you need to just drag it and then connect it with the E port over here, which is uh, estimation sample. And once you click on it, I show you, uh, you know, for a moment, you just forget about this XG boost algorithm. Just think about that you pressed on uh, assisted modeling. It's very simple to use. What it's going to take time a little bit because it's a little heavy, uh, but once I open it, then you would see that how easily you can start building the various machine learning model. You can get the various uh, uh, quality parameters about that model easily, and it is going to be a good fun. So once you have this, uh, you know, been displayed in the left, left pane, then you would see here, it's a, you can reset because I have already built this model. So it is showing me reset and start assisted modeling. And if I, you know, if I just switch this one off and, now I'm not using this particular XG boost. I can actually delete it, this entire model. And if I go here and I say reset, so it's going to ask me, you want to reset it? So I reset it. Now, if I have to use it, I have to run this, uh, run this one more time and then assisted modeling will enable. So I ran it. It will take okay, it's done. So if I go there and I start the assisted modeling, and here I am. It's building, it's building the menu. 
uh, where we can do the step by step processing. Okay, here we are. So here on the right hand side, you can see there is a there is a, a complete uh, demo or a tutorial. But if I go and press the start building, so it is going to show me all columns over here, and then I need to choose the target which I like to use for building uh, for prediction. So I'm, I know my target is the tumor column. So it automatically predicts whether it is should it should be a classification model or a regression model. So I choose classification, and when I press next, then it is telling me that if I choose tumor as a as a target column, then I will not be able to change it throughout the model, which is what I want. Now I'll choose step by step approach over here. So here it's a six steps approach what they have shown to build model now over here if you look at i have the data types and all the columns so it gives me a choice if i have to change any data type to id if it will be id it's like customer id or document number which is irrelevant then it will drop that model will not consider it for building the machine learning model so it shows me am i do i want to take all the columns for building model I would say yes, then I press the next button. So when I press the next button, I mean, uh, you know, uh, at the back end, it is looking at the missing values. And over here, it says that there is no missing value in this. But now, in case, just in case, if there is any missing value, into my uh, data set, then it will display here that this particular column has so many missing values and you can replace those missing values with the mean, median, mode or whatever I choose. Then next, so it will ask me the features, which features I like to use for building my model. It will also tell me here that which feature is uh, highly associated or having high correlation with the, uh, with the target so if i need to drop i can do that so this one it shows that it is very weakly associated with the target and it recommends as well that i should be dropping it so it doesn't uh, select it by default and then whether the other feature is a good predictor so it will just tell that here it is weakly associated with target but you can still look into it whether you want to do it or not so uh, for now i go as it is and i Press next. So, and also it shows, you know, uh, predictor details. So it runs the mathematical statistical function at the back end. And then now it recommends me which algorithms it has inbuilt, basis on which it's going to build a machine learning model. So remember, this is a uh, supervised learning classification model. And now if I choose all four algorithms, because I want to see how their results look like. So I press, press on run selected algorithm. So now it is going to run one algorithm at a time and then would start showing me the model accuracy, it's uh, balanced accuracy, area under the curve and everything. And then, you know, it, it, this tool is very smart. So it shows me that which is the best model with the best accuracy. So if I want to go with the, its recommendation, this tools, and before I go further, you know, here you can see the overview, confusion metrics. And if I don't select this, then, you know, over here, it shows me overview interpretation, which feature is uh, how much, uh, you know, uh, having importance on predicting the, predicting the future, predicting the target. So it shows a summary, a bit of summary. It shows a missing value. If there was any missing value, which are the features being used and which algorithms being utilized and what is their accuracy. Now, this is a comparison of all the, all the algorithms. Another good feature is, here is that if I click here, select this one, then I can export this entire report for this particular model in HTML. Now, what I do, I'm going to you know, select the best model, what it suggested and add models and continue to workflow. 
if I press this, so it is going to uh, go into the deployment mode and going to pack the model, its steps into a container and bring it onto the onto the you know programming pane. And then over there, you would find that it will add a predictor. So that predictor is going to be used to, to really predict the values, the output out of that. So I'll, I'll let it run. Here you go. So now, uh, as I told you, here it has shown me, uh, because I chose this algorithm, so it showed me random forest, then model is, you see it's connected. And then uh, since this was our previous one, so I'm going to, you know, delete this one. And because this is the new predictor, it, it adds by default. I'm going to add it and I'm going to add a browse tool. And then here I have a data set which has the, I have another data set which has the validation uh, samples, which is 30% I've chosen here. And I'm going to connect it with this node. And once this is connected, I'm going to press the run button. So it's going to um, it's going to give me a it's it will run and going to give me the output prediction output. So let it let it connect it and then I will run it and you would be able to see that what prediction it is making against what it what was the original value. Okay, it has it has finished running. Uh, now let me run it. So you see that we have a very simple input data set, and then we chose which columns we would like to utilize. In this case, we chose all the columns, and then we created the assisted modeling tool, and then built the random forest machine learning model. What we can do here, we can actually uh, remove uh, some of the columns which we don't feel appropriate or which we feel that are not going to be the good predictor because we have seen the output result of machine learning uh, model. And based on that, there are certain features which are loosely associated with the data or were, or were not having much impact on the target column. So those features are really you know, not needed. Uh, maybe we may want to just uh, remove them. And now if you look here, so I want to see the output. So I'll go to actions and uh, I'll try to see the all records here. And here you go. So here, if you look at, these are the columns which we already have. And then it has added a predicted column. So this is our validation data, you know, there's a number of data points, uh, validation data and originally value was zero, prediction zero here, it's same, all same. Yep, here original value was one, it has predicted zero. So there is a, these are the defects, what you get into it and that's it. So with this, you know, uh, you would be able to create a beautiful machine learning model uh, with all tricks in very, very little time. Hopefully you would like this video. Please do comment uh, your feedback. Thank you very much.